a rabbit is ready to mate or to be mated at six months. The gestation period is one week, one month. At one month, those are 30 days, 30 to 31 days, depending on, uh, on, uh, on the calendar day. A rabbit will give birth, and it only takes six weeks, one month and two weeks for these bunnies to be weaned. Weaning is the process of getting them from their mother and uh, putting them to an independent lifestyle. For example, they will start eating on their own, drinking on their own. At six weeks, the rabbits are ready. Then the process continues, the process continues until uh, there are rabbit signals. The signal number one, you can tell that the rabbit is young when you get it and put it to the male cage and it refuses to be mates. It just runs, makes a lot of noise. When the rabbit is pregnant, you will get put in the male cage and it will make noise. All you can touch and feel the bunnies when the rabbit is uh, pregnant. Then you also have to look at uh, a signal of the male rabbit. How can you tell that my male rabbit has successfully mated the female rabbit? You get the female, put the male cage, and the male, after successful mating, it will fall down. There you know successful mating has taken place, get it out, put the female back to its cage, and then record the dates for you to do what we call the proper supervision. Because supervision is key in rabbit farming. If you don't do that, the bunnies will come out. You don't know when they come out. You don't have pro proper record keeping and you'll lose the track. I know that death is no more, but there is that bad death or absolutely death. So I won't tell you that this controls death, but we do what we call, we prevent death. Number one, use the right feeding. Right feeding is what? Can you really make sure that when you're serving weeds, they are free from uh, the pests and uh, those things that you cannot see? How do you do it? Get the weeds, either wilt them on a sunshine and then serve. Either get the weeds, can you put them in uh, a basin full of water, put in some salt, disinfect those things that you cannot see with your eyes, get, serve the rabbits. Feed hay, the dry grass. Can you give your rabbit water? So feeding is key. Number two, we do what we call treatment. Treatment is key. Some people think rabbits don't become sick, they become sick. But how? Can you know the diseases? If they are sick from sinaphos, what will I do? If the rabbits are sick from uh, the internal worms, what will I do? If they are sick from, uh, for example, the nose and the legs, what will I do? Can you really think about the diseases? Make research, know the diseases. Another thing that uh, eliminates this is uh, inbreeding. Because when you really get this uh, inbreeding, it's when you get a, a male and a female, they produce, and these bunnies also, you allow them mate. So that is also a bad character that will bring your rabbits to death. An important thing of all is cleanliness. The more you become cleaner, the more you eliminate yourself from these diseases and pests. And then you have a successful business. Uh, market number one, I'm encouraging dear viewers to first learn how to eat the rabbits. Food is market number one. So it is so challenging for the girl children to really tell your husband, can you kindly, for example, me, if I'm in love with you, uh, I will tell you to give me the rabbit meat. First learn how to eat it, that is one. Then market number two is uh, our dear fellow farmers and uh, the, train, the trainers that we train, they give us market. Then another market is restaurants and hotels, but these ones need quality and quantity. That's why I'm encouraging everyone, I'm encouraging the potential people, the young people, and the retired people to come into this, in this uh, business so that we get the minimum rabbits that we need for the other bigger markets. Then another good market is value addition. Can I really see us doing the rabbit sausages, the rabbit burgers, and we do the rabbit meat, you roast, you eat, and we do a rabbit meat festival. That's where we are going to accumulate the market thing. There are so many advantages of rearing rabbits. One is the income, the household economic strengthening. Household economic strengthening. Poverty is a challenge. So this is one idea that can really bring poverty out of. Number two is employment opportunities to the young people. This is a business that will help you do what we call self-employment. So self-employment is easier in rabbit management because it requires little capital and it requires limited space of land. For example, the youth, we don't own land, we don't have land. Then another thing 
Another advantage, this is white meat. There is that healthy advantage. If you eat rabbit meat, you're eating healthy because it has little cholesterol, more than the other meat, the red meat that we eat. Another advantage, uh, rabbits give you fertilizer. The smaller the, the animal, the higher the nutrients. So rabbit fertilizer is more of importance than uh, the other fertilizers that we know. For example, these ones that are on market, they are so dangerous to, to the soil. Another advantage of rabbit keeping, it has what we call cash flow. There are businesses that bring cash flow. You know that at every after end of the month, I'm earning something or quarterly or monthly. Another advantage, rabbit farming is done on a small space of land. For example, for the youth, we all know that when to acquire a loan in, the government, in, a, in, a, in a commercial bank, it is 28%, which I cannot afford. So this is the right way to go. Another advantage, this is on the women who stay at home. This business is not tiresome. You do it in line with your housework. You do it behind your backyard. Another advantage, rabbit farming also helps you to learn on it. For example, you can learn, improve your skills, and you understand how rabbits go. You also train others. There's advantages of training. Can you train your fellows on how to do this? So the last advantage is community empowerment. Can you really turn your village to be a rabbit village? You empower your community, give them a skill, improve their household income, and then we all say bye-bye to poverty. We still have a challenge. Challenge number one, we need to learn AI. How can we do artificial insemination to our rabbits so that we can get that multiplier effect? Another challenge is still feeding. Can we really see the Minister of Agriculture ship into this business? Because when you really see Operation Earth Creation, they give people uh, cattle, they give them goats, no one is into the venture of rabbit farming. Then we are also requesting for the value addition machinery. Because uh, when I really talk about uh, doing the art and craft using the skin, I need that machinery that we cannot afford as Kitara Farm. We also need that machinery that can help us do sausages, we do the rabbit burgers, and we also add, uh, <coughs> for example, there is a, a one great challenge that we are facing we as innovators. The challenge of uh, how best we can really get our products be certified. It is really a very high challenge that you can bring your natural fertilizer, you don't know where to start from. Can we really see that youth desk that can help us come with our innovations and they are protected? For example, when I say that I have my organic fertilizer, where should I go for it to be tested, to be certified, and to be done on a larger scale? Because we know you can make an innovation, put it on market, without being certified, they get you and you're done. Can we really see that innovation coming from other higher desks to the desks where we can afford, for example, at our Polish level? If I have my innovation, I run to Naro or I run to any government institution. They help me get to help me get certified, and we see how best we can get a product that is uh, needed, that is uh, on that the so-called omtindo, to be also taken outside. But our greatest challenge is machinery. We need machinery that can help us here. For example, we as Kitara, we went ahead and got partners of Pum, that is Netherlands. They have experts who can help us uh, train into rabbit farming. But the challenge was we could not afford money to pay for the machinery for this man to come because it's a win-win game. They give you online trainings. If you want them on ground, they need you to buy their machinery that will help you improve your farm. So we are calling for help. We are calling for partnership from the government so that we also train more youth because it is still a challenge encouraging a young person that rabbit farming is profitable. And the training is also expensive. So we are calling the government to use us. I would like to volunteer in the Ministry of Agriculture to train more fellow youth this venture and uh, how to do value addition so that we become so many things. Examination, we need experts who can train us how to do it. Because currently I'm learning it online, but online is really not easy because you need that practical intervention. We also need a, an AI center, like the way we see people have uh, the cement banks. 
we get the semen banks for the rabbits. And uh, another thing, machinery is also expensive because this man from Pum wanted uh, $5,000 to bring all those machineries that we cannot afford as Kitara. So if we can get that package, the training, the expert and the machinery, we will be good to go. Why? Because rabbits, the way you see them, the way they eat, they eat money. And the males work little. And we also have a big challenge that you can meet 100 rabbits and only 50 give birth. Remember, they are eating. So we'd like to venture into that AI and we see the results that will come out. Thank you.